to how much time, free time you have, which doesn't sound like it's a lot, but do, do you read comics at all anymore? No. You don't? Okay. I, cause I really don't have the time. Yeah. And it would drive me crazy if I say, gee, I got five minutes before this appointment. Which one of these 50,000 books yeah. am I going to read? It's easier not to bother at all. I look at the covers. Uh, Marvel sends them to us, and I, I like to see what they're doing. And I had mentioned just before, on the covers of today's books, they have the name of the artist and writers. I don't know any of those names, mm. and it is the strangest feel. I used to know everybody in the business. Yeah. I don't know any. They're all new people. And then I sometimes I'll thumb through the book to see what it looks like, and the artwork is magnificent. They're like paintings that would hang in a gallery. It, it's, it's a whole different thing now, but I don't really have time to get into them and read them. Can I ask you what entertainment you do like today? What does excite you in film, TV, you know, internet? What entertainment? Yeah, what do you I, find inspiring? <clears throat> oh, everything. Okay. <laughs> These interviews are inspiring. <laughs> but I, um, I like to write, so I enjoy doing that. I like to scan the internet, see what's on. Um, I like playing with my telephone. I'm, I'm still the only guy who has this old-fashioned type of phone. You know, this is like one of the first models ever made. I'm still trying to learn how to get my messages on it, but I'll, <laughs> it'll come to me eventually. I bought an iPhone. I can't. That's a total mystery to me. Um, what, the question, what do I like? What, what film, TV, internet, you know, what, what do you find entertaining? What excites you? Oh, everything. You? I, I'm easy to please when it comes to entertainment. <laughs> When I have a few spare minutes, I just turn on the TV and I go to the uh, channels where they have old movies and stuff. I don't know if you have direct TV, but starting with number 501, you get HBO and you get a million old movies. And I just thumb through them until I find something that catches my eye. And I also belong to Netflix and I go through the list of movies, old movies that are available. I catch up on all the ones I've missed. So I'm really up to date as long as we go back about a year or so. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm alone in saying I would love to see, and, and the X-Men movies have been fine, the Hulk movie, Spider-Man, etc. I would love to see feature length animation of Spider-Man, Hulk, Thor, X-Men. Why haven't those been made? Well, I really can't answer that. And Marvel, as far as I know, is a company that's out to make a profit. And I think as soon as the idea hits them that there may be an audience <laughs> for such a movie, you'll see one. There's no reason not to make it. It probably never occurred to them. And also, they're so busy doing the live action ones, they probably don't have the ability. But to they, do they wouldn't have to make as much money. And, you know, it wouldn't cost as much That's money to make. Miyazaki's to making a lot of <laughs> Miyazaki's making a lot of great movies. I mean, it's not it's not unheard of for these yeah. to be successful. Actually, you're right. This See, I don't have anything to say though about huh? Marvel. Okay. Guys. <laughs> All right. I, we're Sorry. on friendly terms, and I'm still the chairman emeritus. But they don't ask me uh, what to do, which is probably a good thing. They'd be bankrupt in a month. <laughs> but this is a good segue, if we could just kind of segue into this. If you can talk about it kind of quickly.